attract the one. The best methods for enhancing the law of attraction to manifest the love you e been dreaming of by Jolie Lewin. Attract the one. The best methods for enhancing the law of attraction to manifest the love you e been dreaming of. Published by Essential Press 2014 Jolie Lewin. All rights reserved. No part of this book may be reproduced or used in any form without written permission from the publisher. Cover design. Rene Romance Book Design Image of Hands Courtesy of Opsen at FREDIGITALPHOTOS.NET Dedication I dedicate this book to my life partner, to all who are seeking love bliss, and to God who eternally loves my spirit and has supported its joyful expansion from the beginning. Are you a lucky person? Have you ever heard the phrase, he lucky ones? T only the lucky ones who meet their life partner in grade school. It only the lucky ones who stay happily married until death do them part. It only the lucky ones who have the good looks or the captivating personality that makes them desirable enough to attract a spouse. It always the lucky ones who snag a wealthy beau. It always the lucky ones who capture the heart of someone gorgeous. It always the lucky ones who get to spend a lifetime with their soulmate, loved unconditionally. I here to tell you a little known truth about luck. There is no such thing. Those so-called lucky people, they have created their good fortune in the area of romance with their thoughts, beliefs, and expectations. You might be saying, eat a minute, he lucky ones didn't create their physical features or determine their upbringing. And neither did I. This is mostly true. But who had ultimate control of your most powerful tools? Your thoughts, who really had control of your beliefs, who had final say in your expectations, you, no one has ever controlled your thoughts. People in your life may have given you their opinions, and told you what in their eyes was the right and wrong thing to think, believe, and expect, but never, ever, could they stop you from thinking the contrary, believing the contrary, or expecting the contrary. Think back to something your parents or caregivers told you when you were a child that felt just plain wrong to your understanding of yourself and your world. You felt a strong sense of had not how it really is or his is not how it should be. That stubborn feeling, that unfairness you feel, that indignation and sadness you feel about the lack of a loving partner in your life, that your spirit talking. The freest, most joyous part of yourself. You sometimes sense your spirit higher knowledge in your gut and often in your heart. In your heart, you know that there is someone out there that is your perfect match. Your spirit knows this too. That why when you think a thought that is contrary to the belief of finding your soulmate, you feel bad. You feel bad because you are thinking something that is not in agreement with your spirit, not in alignment with your true desire. Your feelings are a perfect indicator of whether you are presently attracting what you want, or presently attracting what you don't want. There is a force that breathes life and gives form to all things in our reality. People have given it a thousand names, God, the universe, the creator, divine mother, source, and simply the field. Whatever you call it, this awesome force provided human beings with the ability to focus our thoughts on anything we want, even things that don't yet exist. This is how humans can create our own world, our own reality. We have the gift of free will. The benevolent universe responds to our free will by expanding what we dedicate our thoughts to. Whatever is focused upon, more of that thing will be drawn into our experience. Whatever we spend our time thinking about, we get lots more of it. It perfect. Because who would ever continuously focus on what they don't want? Only a crazy person would do that. Too soon? Think about it. How insane is it for us to continue to think thoughts that make us feel bad when we have the freedom to think of things that make us feel wonderful every minute of every day? The law of attraction is designed to give us what we want, and it assumes that what we want is what we are focused on. It like a big equal sign and a multiplication formula. What you put into the front of the equation is what you get out, magnified. So those of you who feel like you are not one of the lucky ones who were born into rough families and harsh situations, who have gone through the ringer of abusive or ill-fated romances, you actually have an advantage. You have the advantage of feeling more passionately and being clear about what you do want. From that place you can focus much more precisely on what you want and can attract it so much more quickly. It the law. The law of attraction. Using the law of attraction. You create your own luck. You are the captain of your ship, and therefore you choose your destiny. If you want your ship to dock on the shore where your soulmate awaits, you can steer it there, full steam ahead. This simple guidebook will teach you everything you need to know about how to navigate your ship. Becoming lucky in love. There are beautiful people in the world who seem to have it all are actually miserable, empty, isolated, 
and desperate for true love. On the other hand, there are couples who are deeply in love, who you would not consider an attractive couple, and who would offend your senses if you had to see their public displays of affection. So it is not attractiveness or status that determines your ook in love. I assure you e seeing a handsome good guy or beautiful good woman who is in a hopeless relationship with a crazy, selfish, mean, or ugly partner. So being a rude person is not what determines your success in love. There are people who have attracted a good mate by your standards, but who are very unhappy, because they did they attract the right mate for them, the one. So it is not selectiveness and sticking to high standards that determines if you find your match. What is the secret to being ucky in love? The answer is, again, your thoughts, beliefs, and expectations. It is true that many people, you perhaps, have attracted some horrible relationships and not just once again and again it becomes a pattern of dating people who end up being just like your mother or father or just like the last insert expletive here you dated if you examine yourself more closely you will realize that your feelings also known as your vibration was in tune with those relationships your predominate most heartfelt beliefs your daily habitual thoughts and your general expectations set the dial and you could only receive the sad song playing on that frequency, your ex like attracts like. That phrase sums of the law of attraction. You should repeat it until you begin to mumble it in your sleep, like attracts like. What you focus on becomes magnetized to you. If you are feeling that, you are transmitting a low vibration, which attracts people into your life that will perpetuate your low feelings or bring your emotional vibe down even lower. Imagine, everybody, including you, is a walking magnet, attracting magnets of the same vibe. Some of the magnets seem shiny or put together or kind on the outside, but once you attract them into your life and really get to know them, you realize they are equally or more miserable than you are, or possess the very character traits you envy the most, or possess traits you loathe the most. Say it with me, like attracts like. Another phrase you should repeat, what you focus on expands. Where is my soulmate? Why can I find love? Will I ever meet them? It feels so bad to be lonely. It hurts so much to be alone in this world. I don't deserve to be loved. If you are predominantly complaining to yourself and your friends and family in this manner, you will only get more of the same. More loneliness, more hurt feelings, and more anxiety. It does and matter what you did in the past. It does and matter if you hurt someone or got hurt used someone or were used. All that matters is the vibration that you are sending out right now. Now, now, now. Now is always the most important moment of your life. It is the only time you can alter your point of attraction. Turn the dial. Change the requests that you are sending out to the universe so that you can tune in and receive your favorite love song of all time, your divinely made other half. If you think like a person who is in love, if you believe you can have love, and if you expect to receive love, you will manifest that love. There are no exceptions to the law. It is in action 100% of the time, 24 hours a day, just like the law of gravity is always n. Anyone can produce the results seen in another person life by simply producing the thoughts, beliefs and expectations of the result. If you want the beautiful, deep, loving connection that you see in another couple or have seen in your most sensual of dreams, all you have to do is follow the three simple principles of manifesting revealed to you in the following chapters. The three steps of attracting the one. Ask, believe, receive. It seems too simple to be true, but this is the sacred formula for finally seeing your soulmate lying in bed beside you, staring lovingly into your eyes. You may be thinking, but I e prayed before. I e tried the law of attraction. I begged the universe to send me my soulmate. I thought about it constantly, and I waited for months years even, and it didn't work. God the Creator is not listening to me. The problem is not that the universe is and listening to you. It listens and responds to you perfectly and without fail. If you have not manifested the love of your life yet, you have not been trusting enough to believe or open enough to receive. But how do I believe and trust in a force I can see? How do I stay open when I don't seem to have any prospects? Read on to find out. Asking. Asking is the most effortless step of the manifestation process. You ask automatically through your natural preferences. Every time you came into contact with something you didn't like, you felt dissatisfaction. When you felt that dissatisfaction, your spirit instantaneously expanded in the opposite direction, becoming more or what you love and appreciate. The big question was whether you followed that expansion of your spirit. If you were not totally excited and hopeful about the relationship you e asked for, 
then you are not allowing yourself to be in the alignment with your own spirit. Your highest self has already expanded to include what you desire into your possible reality. You are putting up a barricade between you and that wonderful reality of having your soulmate by your side if you remain stuck in the asking stage. Focusing too much on what you don't want. You don't have to ask more than once. Know what you don't want in a lover. This is the easiest task you will complete because you have been brought up in human society where we memorialize every negative thing that has ever happened to us. Millions of things have gone right in your life otherwise you would and even be alive to read these words. Yet you hardly take notice of any of those continuous miracles. While it's true that focusing on what you do not want magnetizes you to those unwanted things, it is important to use the information to better understand what truly makes you feel good. You all need some pieces of paper, or better yet dedicate pages in a journal to manifesting the one, and list all the things you did not feel good about in past relationships. Don't limit the list to what you didn't like in romantic relationships. Things you find disagreeable about any friendships or any relationships with family members can be added to the list. 2. Do not want a man-woman who tells lies, is selfish, DOES and listen to me, is unfaithful to me, is always angry, DOES and take responsibility for his or her actions, DOES and enjoy being a parent, IS and wise with money, controls me, makes me feel ugly, DOES and appreciate my body, can please me sexually, DOES and respect me, DOES and care about my feelings, DOES and want to be close to me, has no goals in common with me, DOES and understand and accept me for who I am. Get specific about what you do want in a lover. Now a time to write a list of what you desire. Refer to the list of what you don't want and flip your negative statements into positive statements. Don't use the words ever OES and or on. If you use those words you are instead putting the focus on what you don't want. This is about what you do want. Notice the difference in the way you feel in your heart when you write and read the positive statements. That lighter feeling means that those thoughts are in alignment with your spirit and thus bring you closer to attracting your ideal mate when you think of them. Want a man-woman who is honest, is generous, listens to me, is faithful to me, is always in a good mood, takes full responsibility for his or her actions, loves being a parent, is good with money, let me have the freedom to enjoy myself, makes me feel like the most attractive person they e ever seen, loves every inch of my body, makes my toes curl, respects me, cares about how I feelings, shares common life goals with me, wants to experience deep intimacy with me, understands and accepts me for exactly who I am. Now get general. I have to break the news to you, that detailed and extensive list you wrote DOES and matter in the end. The specifics help you to think thoughts that activate your emotions, but the specifics do not matter when it comes to manifesting the perfect person for you. It's the way you will feel that matters most. Everything you want in a man or woman is something you desire to have because you will feel good in the having of it. What you really want is the feeling. What if Cupid? The Cheruba God of Love visited you and said, No, an incredible match for you. This person will make you feel complete, secure, intensely loved, special, desirable, flawless, like it you and them against the world, that you two are inseparable and meant to be together, and they will give you an earthly bliss and soul quaking pleasure, but they don't have the same physical features, job description, or ethnicity you painted in your fantasy. Would you like to meet this beautiful person? Would you say, W man, it sucks. No thank you, Cupid. I don't want to meet them. I gonna keep looking for the complete package. No, because that person is the complete package. They are that special person that makes you feel the way no one else can make you feel. No matter the details on your list, if they will allow you to feel the love and bliss that you want to feel, then they are the one. Be open in your asking. The universe knows how to give you a relationship even greater than you e imagined so be open to the possibility of a pleasant surprise. So. Ask the universe God for him, or someone better, or er, or someone better. Believing. Belief and faith are not the same things, though the words are often used interchangeably. When you have faith that something will happen or that something exists, you try trust that it will happen or does exist even though you have no proof of it. Faith involves a good amount of doubt. You try to believe in something, but you won't really believe until exactly what you want finally happens. When you believe in something. You have found personal proof of it, 
and your thoughts are very steadfast about what you are holding to be true. You rarely question or doubt your thoughts on the subject. Blind faith will not help you deliberately manifest the one you have to believe. You have to find personal proof that the laws of the universe are active in your life. Conduct small experiments with the law of attraction if you need to make your belief in the law more solid. Pick something small or insignificant that you feel you can easily attract like finding a dollar on the ground or receiving a phone call from someone you haven't spoken to in a while. Use the ask, believe and receive steps you will learn in this guide to manifest those smaller things. When you see the results of your manifestation, you will be energized with belief and you will be more confident about attracting your ideal mate. Another great way to strengthen your belief is to study quantum physics. Studying life at a quantum level reveals that everything is energy. Visit your local library or search YouTube to find books, movies, and lectures about this breaking-edge science that is bringing humans to a greater understanding of the invisible magic within our reality. You have to educate yourself and gather personal proof so that you believe that your soulmate MUST come to you if you remain aware of the law of attraction and use it deliberately. Take hopefulness to the next level, expectation. The universe supports your desire for a mate. Your desires for true love are divinely supported. You have been given free will and a physical body in order to have and experience the love you are wishing for. The universe is always expanding, always becoming more. Its highest goal is to evolve, becoming better and better. Your happiness ripples across the world in ways you cannot imagine. The universe wants you to be happy and in love because happiness aids in the evolution of humanity. God is love. Through our unique experiences, God expands. When we feel love, we are allowing ourselves to experience God more fully. Love is the highest vibration. Love is the purest highest energy in the universe, because it is free of judgment. Love is the unconditional acceptance of what is. When you feel love, God feels love, because there is no separation between you and God. You are part of God. You are part of the universe and the universe is a part of you. Love brings you closer to the Creator, to a higher dimension, your spirit ultimate goal. You were born deserving love. Does a flower in a garden deserve to thrive? Does it need to prove something to the sun in order to soak up the sunlight? Does it need to behave favorably in the presence of rain in order to be watered? Does it fight to grow into a flower that looks completely different than its nature? Or does it strive to be the best it can be? You are like that flower. You are deserving of nourishment of, simply because you are here. You exist. You are. It does and matter what you look like or what people around you have said or are saying. Their judgments of your past. Your interests, your appearance, your skills, your preferences, and your passions can never change the fact that you are entitled to love. The universe is the source of all love, not the people around you. Those who are open vessels and allow God love energy to flow through them and to you, without conditions, are those you should honor. All others who bring you negativity and judgment are squeezed off from the connection to source, and you should not honor what they say. Too often you cut your own self off from source and say and believe things about yourself that do not honor your spirit. When you were born you were gloriously open to source. You were a bundle of joy. You were nearly fearless. You were motivated to learn everything you could about your world and to test out your abilities. You smiled easily and laughed at the simplest things. Should you have had to prove something to your caretakers in order to be fed? Should you have needed to act exactly as others would like you to act in order to be safe and protected from harm? Of course not. Did you deserve love then? Of course. Do you deserve love? Love now you may be hesitant to answer of course to that question that only because since the time when you were a new being to this earth you have been taught over many years that you were limited fragile unintelligent and lacking you e heard oh who can who should do shoulder hat better hat not good enough thousands and thousands of times from parents from peers from television and from magazines. Eventually no one had to tell you oh you told yourself oh. Even though the universe wants to give you what your heart and spirit desires, your negative thoughts, limiting beliefs, and pessimistic expectations are roadblocks to the, the blessings coming your way, like a decameter in the river that is carrying in its flow everything you ever wanted. If you release your resistance, your soulmate will be drawn to you, like a vacuum being filled. Then you will see that you were deserving all along. All you needed to do was believe. Receiving. You mind and heart must be open in order to receive the one into your life. You are not unlike a radio. If you change your dial, you can receive the music you want to hear. Receiving, the final step of manifesting the love you've been dreaming of, 
is as easy as calming your mind and body and basking in good feelings. Fun and relaxation. What a better task than that. There is nothing more important than that you feel good in order to receive. Feeling good opens up the floodgates, so that not only will you attract your soulmate, you will attract lots of other things you even wanting as well. Feeling good does not require a luxury vacation or an expensive new wardrobe. Those things w-o-u-l-d and hurt if you have access to them but you can create the same luxurious and expensive feelings with your thoughts. Our greatest gifts. The key to receiving love is to feel good about love. Let learn some methods for bringing your feelings in alignment with meeting your kindred spirit. Your feeling is the prayer. It cannot be stressed enough how important your feelings are when it comes to manifesting. Essentially, the feeling is the prayer. You e gotta feel the way you all feel when the love of your life is holding you, kissing you, desiring you, laughing with you, and devoted to you, and you e gotta feel it now. Have you ever noticed that when you, or someone you know, are in a happy relationship there suddenly seems to be an influx in the number of people showing romantic interest? You wonder, here were these people when I was single? This phenomenon occurs because when you are happy, you are strongly radiating that energy and thus attracting to yourself more of what you are enjoying. Enjoy your sweetie before they walk into your life, or it will not be possible for them to walk into your life. The stronger your emotions, the faster the manifestation can occur. Before you take any actions such as registering for a singles event or asking a friend to set you up on a blind date. Make sure that your positive energy is high so that your results are fruitful. Here are a few powerful methods that will magnetize you with the sensation of your wish come true. Affirmations Affirmations have gotten a bad rap. Many people have had poor results using positive affirmations and others feel too silly saying them to make a habit of it. The practice of affirmations is transformational if and only if you feel better when you say them. You must use statements that leave you feeling optimistic, excited, and joyful rather than skeptical. Affirmations will be unique to each individual, but below are some prompts to help you build a list of effective affirmations. I like it when. I love having. Life will be wonderful when. Once we are with each other, we going to. He is on his way to me. Slash she is on her way to me. Visualization if you can even imagine what it would feel like to be thoroughly loved by the man or woman of your dreams. You e in trouble. Being able to vividly imagine what it will be like to have them in your life is an indication of the harmony of your thoughts and your beliefs. If you can make it real mentally, you don't believe it can be true in your reality. Relax your body and let your imagination flow. See yourself happy and in love. Feel the sensation of your soulmate touch. Inhale the scent of the salty air at the private beach on your honeymoon vacation. Hear the sound of your lover whispering your name. Do this for at least two minutes a day. Visualizing as you fall asleep is particularly effective because it allows your objective to become rooted in your subconscious mind. Symbols Symbols are objects you can keep in your environment that represent the reality you will soon be moving into. They are reminders, triggers for good feelings and expectations of finding the one. Get a picture, postcard, or brochure of some place you plan to visit with your mate. Hang it somewhere you can see it every day. Save the picture as your computer background. For example, leave a crisp new pillow on the other side of the bed that represents his or her pillow. Empty space in the closet for their clothes. Get two night tables if you only have one. If you have two, place items on the other night table that they would like. Keep the dinner table set for a special guest. Buy a special gift you will give them. Buy tickets to a concert you will attend together. Wear a string around your ring finger or mark your finger or wear a small ring to represent the wedding band that will be there soon. Rituals Every spiritual practice has its rituals. Catholics have confession, genuflection, rosary prayer, and the Eucharist communion. Tibetan monks use prayer wheels, flags, symbols, gongs, and yoga rituals consistently focus your intention and activate your feelings through the use of a repeated physical motion create your own meaningful daily ritual that will bring you closer and closer to attracting the one write love notes for the love of your life every morning pour two cups of coffee or tea rather than one sleep on only one side of the bed since he will be on the other side put the toilet seat down so she won't fall in smile and call out Oni I home when you get home from work and enter the front door of your house, before you get into bed, spritz yourself with some perfume or cologne for your lover to enjoy. Keeping a candle lit to represent the passionate, endless love they have for you, and you for them. Let love in.
Do you feel jealous or sad when you see a happy couple? Do you find romantic movies cheesy? Does it make you uncomfortable to be complimented? Are you careful about spending too much time with the people who care about you because you worry you'll wear out your welcome? Do you rarely or never schedule e time into your day? to pamper yourself and indulge in what delights you? If you answered yes to any of these questions then you are not in love with love. You are not letting love in. You must be open to and accepting of love from all sources, including from yourself. Expose yourself more often to these situations until they become comfortable to you. Once it feels completely natural to let love in, your reality will become full of pets are a wonderful way of letting love in, especially dogs. They are full of affection, joy, and appreciation for their owners. Consider getting a pet or spending more time with your animal. Let love out. You have to give love to get love. You can get what you don't give vibrationally, emotionally, spiritually. If you aren't totally comfortable demonstrating kindness, giving praise, and showing affection to people who are not your romantic partner, how much love does your soulmate have to look forward to getting from you? Again, pets are a great focus point for letting love out. Play with, pet and spoil your favorite animal friends. Helping someone in need is a satisfying spiritual experience for both you and the person you are helping. Volunteering your time, donating resources, or doing a random act of kindness for someone who needs it will clear any blockages you have in regards to love and togetherness. Even something as simple as passionately singing along to a great love song will open up your heart chakra, releasing love energy that will be reflected back to you in the form of a chance meeting with your special someone. Sealing the deal, gratitude. You e asked for your soulmate. You believe and you get yourself ready every day, on a mental, spiritual, and physical level to receive that incredible person into your life. There's still one small but powerful secret that can enhance the speed of your manifestation even more, gratitude. Gratitude is the appreciation of the little things. The child who is most appreciative of small gifts elicits in others the desire to grant him even greater gifts to appreciate. One study showed that a group of people who practiced a few minutes of gratitude exercises each day were 25% happier after just one month of doing the exercises. That 25% more magnetized for attracting their desires after just 30 days of practicing gratitude. Imagine what would happen if you committed to writing in a gratitude journal or doing a gratitude meditation every day of your life. Be grateful for where you are and where you are headed. Be grateful for the hurt you felt in the past and the incredibly valuable lessons you learned from them. Be grateful for the sweet moments you e shared with others that help you to believe you can receive even more of those moments. You are now free to be lucky in love. Thanks for reading and thank you in advance for leaving an honest review of this book. Please enjoy the wonderful resources listed below. Bonus. How to keep your soulmate in your life. Once you e attracted them. Expert dating and relationships advice for men and women. Engine him, how to reach his heart deeply and have his true love forever. Secret survey, the truth about men. Discover the real reason ALL men lie to the women they love, and the secret to eating how he really feels about how to be a sex goddess and blow his mind. Multi-orgasmic lover, learn how to truly satisfy a woman in bed. Sex secrets most men will never know. Girl gets ring. How to capture your dream man's interest or get it back again and keep him devoted for good without losing your dignity or chasing after him table of contents. Are you a lucky person? Becoming lucky in love the three steps of attracting the one asking know what you don't want in a lover get specific about what you do want in a lover now get general believing the universe supports your desire for a mate you were born deserving love receiving untitled your feeling is the prayer affirmations visualization symbols rituals let love in let love out sealing the deal. Gratitude bonus, how to keep your soulmate in your life once you e-attracted them.